Now, it might be a result of my classical training, where the first thing you do is learn to read notes, but I've always been rather puzzled and kind of amazed at musicians who proudly claim that they can't read music, and they seemingly have no desire to learn. Now, of course, there are many musicians, a few, you could probably name a few yourself, who became famous as musicians, as songwriters, as pop stars, and they probably claim that they can't read music. I'll let you in on a little secret. Some of them downplay the amount of musical knowledge they have because it makes them seem a little bit more genius-like. I would also tell you that many of them became successful because somebody in their team did know how to read music. I've always maintained that every musician, every music student, should learn how to read music. So what are the benefits to be gained from learning how to read music? Well, let's say you want to learn to play a song. You can listen to a recording of it and try to pick it up by ear, and that's a valuable skill too. I will teach you how to do that, but not in this particular lesson. But when you combine reading the music and hearing it, you can learn it that much faster. So while it's true that you can learn a song simply by ear, you can learn it faster when you read music. Let me, let me share an example from my own personal experience. I was in a band for many years from 2000, well not 2000, 1990 to 2002. And this was called a society band. We played at a lot of high-end functions, debutante balls, yacht clubs, country clubs. And we also played at a lot of very high-class weddings. And one of the things you do when you're a band at a wedding is you have to play the first dance for the couple. And they usually request a song that they want. And if we didn't know it, we had to learn it. And very often I was the lead singer on these songs. So yes, <laughs> I was a wedding singer. But anyway, if I had to learn a song, I could get the sheet music and try to learn it just from the music. And I could do it, but I wanted to make sure that it sounded more like the record, and so I would get a recording of it as well. Very often that would be supplied to us by the bride or the bride and groom. So I'd listen to it, read the music, and that enabled me to learn the song that much more quickly. And then I could have the music with me on the stand while I was performing it at the wedding, and that way I wouldn't get the lyrics wrong. <laughs> so knowing how to read music helped me learn that song much faster. Now, I must emphasize that this, the type of music reading that I'm going to be teaching you here is different than what you would learn in classical music. And we'll get into a little bit more of that in uh, future videos. But suffice it to say, you will find this method of reading music, of learning music notation, you'll be able to pick this up very quickly. So this method of music notation and music reading, this is what we're going to learn first. And it's called the popular approach. This is the way that every musician who doesn't play classical music reads music. Now, later on, of course, you can learn the classical approach if you want to play classical music. But if you want to play hymns, worship songs, popular tunes, if you want to be able to hear a song on uh, Spotify or wherever you're listening to music and get the sheet music and learn that song so that you can play it yourself, then it helps you to know how to read basic music notation. So that's a quick introduction to what we're going to be doing in this next series of videos.